Hey there, good afternoon everyone. It's almost happy hour, almost time for a happy hour. Um, and with that, I'll take you on a short journey of where uh, I see blockchain and crypto today, uh, a little bit about where I think the market is going, uh, leading into the vision and what we're doing at uh, Vegan Nation. So, everyone's talking about the crash, the bullish uh, market, and so on and so on, however you would call it. And we need to stop and think of what we did in the blockchain space and crypto space in the last two years. Um, what, are, what were the realistic uh, things to expect out of this market? We saw a shitload of uh, ICOs going out and some of them were actually shit. And we need to wake up and smell the coffee and realize what was done wrong, what can we learn from it, and uh, how do we move uh, forward? Developers, 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 This is one of my favorite videos. And I think that um, because it's one of my favorite videos, every time I want to get pumped up, I look at Steve Ballmer. And now I can watch basketball games and I see him going crazy on the sidelines. But this notion, and I can tell you the amount of times that I've been in meetings with uh, VCs, with funds, with quote unquote blockchain hubs, and things like that. And they said, we invest only in infrastructure. We're investing only in infrastructure. We're looking for that crazy development team. We're looking for um, uh, a new idea of blockchain. And we lost track that blockchain is not the goal. Blockchain is a tool, okay? We need to show the world what we can do with blockchain. The average Joe on the street does not give a shit about blockchain. He doesn't know what blockchain is. A few weeks ago, I was trying to explain what blockchain is to a 70-year-old to a 70-year-old uh, grandmother in Toronto, um, I succeeded. But they don't care what what blockchain is. They want to know how it will change their day-to-day -day life. Mm. People are focused on blockchain infrastructure. Some of the best infrastructure cities in the world are actually empty. If you go to China, you can see ghost towns amazing ghost towns that were built for 10 million people that have some of the best infrastructures in the world because they were built from scratch in the last few years, but they're empty. People don't care about infrastructure. What we need to focus on is how to make blockchain cool. Some of the biggest and coolest cities in the world have horrible infrastructure. Here in Tel Aviv, to get around is horrible. Traffic is horrible. You go to New York, you go to every big city in the world, infrastructure is horrible. Yet, people are drawn to the big city. People are drawn to the lights. People are drawn to the, to the, to the night scene, to the food scene. This is where we need to take blockchain and cryptocurrency. We need to start thinking of what are going to be the apps that are going to convince people to start using blockchain and cryptocurrency. For the last two years, we were focused on blockchain, how we're going to make it uh, uh, better, faster. We need to focus on how we start bringing it out. The first days of the internet, there were very clear uh, use cases for the internet that people actually said, okay, we need to start using this. If it was simple emails, simple games, we need to start thinking of these uh, projects that will bring users to the internet. I guarantee you that when there's going to be a hundred million users on the blockchain, you're going to be able to fund every project you want. When people see users coming, the money will go. People were focused too much on building ghost towns rather than building a hundred crypto kitties. People made fun of people that are paying money for kitties. It doesn't matter. People were doing it. We need a hundred projects that will bring real users onto the blockchain and onto uh, and to start using cryptocurrency. 
The question is mass adoption. Who are the first mass adopters? Right now, we don't have mass adoption. It's not easy to use blockchain. Definitely not easy to use cryptocurrency. Who's going, and this is a question that uh, we face in every blockchain conference around the world as everyone's asking who's the next wave, who's the next wave of liquidity, who's, who's going to be the first mass adopters of blockchain and cryptocurrency. Lucky for you guys, I'm here with the answer today. Vegan Nation. The first rule in Silicon Valley, and the reason why Silicon Valley was able to build itself to what it is today, is this very simple rule. Every, every idea in Silicon Valley needs the first early adopters. Who's, who are the first early adopters? There are people that are willing to go out of their way to use something. In the case of Silicon Valley, they had an amazing partnership with the US Army. That's the only reason why Silicon Valley is what it is. It's because the US government was willing to pay them a crap load of money to do whatever they wanted. Vegan people wake up every morning, we choose a challenging lifestyle based on the belief that we believe in. We're willing to go out of our way to live the lifestyle that I want to live. We will go out of our way to make blockchain and cryptocurrency cool because it fits our vision and the vegan mindset. Vegan coin is the first ever vegan currency. It's the building ground for a global vegan economy and ecosystem designed to make plant-based living easier, more enjoyable, and more affordable. Vegancoin is a cryptocurrency designed for and by the vegan community, and we're sure it's going to inspire and encourage many more people to change their lifestyle, and in so doing, help our beloved and beleaguered mother planet in these critical times. We are launching the Vegan Nation and the Vegan Coin together with some of the biggest vegan organizations in the world, from PETA to Sea Shepherd to uh, uh, to uh, local organizations here in Israel. You obviously saw Jerome Flynn from Game of Thrones um, and many more Hollywood celebrities that understand uh, the importance of cryptocurrency to bring uh, veganism to the next level uh, in its natural evolution. Why is cryptocurrency and blockchain important for the vegan <coughs> movement? I always like to uh, quote uh, Paul McCartney, said if slaughterhouses would have glass walls, the world would go vegan. Blockchain and cryptocurrency is that glass wall to the financial world. The vision and the mission of blockchain, the two most important things is transparency and validation. Me as a vegan, I want to know where my food comes from. I want to be certain that the information I get is true. I want to know where all my products came from. With money, it was never possible. Throughout history, you had to transact in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in a piece of gold or with, uh, with, a, with a paper bill. That paper bill had zero transparency. A $100 bill, to me, to a vegan mindset, is like a blood diamond. It's very possible that yesterday it was at a McDonald's and tomorrow it's gonna, it, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, at some butcher shop around the corner. That doesn't fit the vegan mindset. Now in 2019, 2008, from, since 2009, where, when we first got introduced to the vision of a transparent financial system, that can bring the, the vegan mindset full circle around where we will have a whole new level of responsibility in the way that we spend money. The vegan community is only the beginning. I always tell people around the world, people in the blockchain community, we all need to invest and think how we help companies that will bring mass users to blockchain. We all need to work together. Let's all come together and think how we can build Vegan Nation to be the best blockchain platform, to be the first mass adoption uh, of crypto and blockchain users. 
after the vegan community makes crypto and blockchain cool, people will be able to take this model and, and start doing it with many other communities, many other uh, 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 close communities, many communities that have shared ideologies, and many other businesses that see a use case of really introducing a cryptocurrency to a community that wants to use this on a daily basis. So what I tell people is, you have a bunch of tokens out there. The question is, who's going to use your token on a daily basis? Who's going to make it cool? Just like it's cool to go to a vegan restaurant, because it's, I'm gonna say on myself, I'm definitely cool. But um, it's, it's, it's healthier, it's the cooler people there. Being vegan today in the world and going to vegan businesses is definitely the cool thing and the hottest trend in the world today. Veganism is growing by 100% a year in most countries. Let's all come together and help Vegan Nation on the vision and that will take blockchain and cryptocurrency to the next level. Thank you very much.